Hi everyone, this is Nora and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another tutorial and I'm starting my series two from the Friends collection from Makeup Revolution and today I am using this palette right here. Now, I really don't like this palette i had a hard time playing around with it to be honest with you guys you're going to see in this tutorial but i still wanted to go ahead and do this video for you guys and give you guys my 100 percent opinion slash review i know i have two more palettes to show you guys but today i really wanted to go ahead and try this one right here so before i go ahead and jump on to this makeup tutorial make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified every time i upload a new video and i would really love if you guys enjoy the light family that i have here on my channel as well it would really 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 mean a lot to me so if you guys want to see how i created this look please keep on watching Okay, I normally film my tutorials when I have one eye done and then I do the other eye with you guys But literally no joke I put my eye makeup on on this one right here and I had to take it off two times like No joke. I'm playing around with the palette from the makeup revolution this one right here their second series and this is the taxi cab palette and I have to say I am not impressed literally i am not impressed i don't like it at all i feel like the eyeshadows there's a lot of fallouts in the palette a lot of fallouts on my face and that they're not blending that well and when you actually blend them together they kind of like disappear i don't know what it is um, my eye at the moment is quite irritated i just put a little bit more concealer on just to kind of remove all the redness and everything that's been going on right now and I am not really impressed. So I had in mind to do a nice blue smoky eye with all the brown tones that it has right here because there's a beautiful blue shade right here. And it's beautiful, it's nice and shimmery. So I really wanted to put that on my lid and play around with like the neutral shades. But it's not working out. So I'm still gonna go ahead and do this video because you know, I don't know what to do on my eyes. I think I'm gonna take a different route for this one. I think I'm gonna play more around with the shimmery shades that this palette has. It has like a nice champagne shade I see here with like few other shades. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my P. Louise primer and I'm just gonna dab it on my eye gonna take my beauty blender here what happens with me is that if the eyeshadow it's not working with me I get irritated so <laughs> I am quite irritated right now because this is not working out you guys could understand that point because when you're doing your eye and you're on the rush and you need to be somewhere <laughs> and you can't like get your eyes or your eyeshadow straight it becomes quite annoying so i guess i'm gonna start off i'm gonna do something quite natural so i'm gonna start off with a shade called 1994 which is this one right here it's a beautiful shade all the shades look so beautiful but it just it's it really sucks that they're not showing off as well as i want them to be on my face so I'm just apply applying this shadow in my crease at first and I'm just going to start blending it out. You might see them well on camera but in real life, not too impressed to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and use this shade, this one is 2004 and I'm just going to take it with my finger right here. I'm just using my middle finger for this one and I'm just going to uh, put that on my eyelid. Mm. I mean, it's not that shimmery. It's very, very, very subtle. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I don't see... I don't see this as a blinding shade like the other palettes that I used from the Friends collection. I mean, this one I'm really, really not impressed. I'm literally just packing it on. It doesn't seem like it's going to get any shimmery than that. I'm gonna go ahead and try Nana's stuff. This is more of a shimmery, silvery, white shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and see what I can do with this one. Maybe just apply it in the inner corners of the eye. Again, I'm using my fingers with this one. You can go ahead and use a brush if you want. I'm just gonna take a small brush and blend it. 
I don't find it blinding whatsoever. Like it shows on camera, which is good. But other than that, I don't really see any, any difference. I'm gonna take a smaller shade brush and there's a color called Sailing, which I tried using it. And it's this dark brown shade right here. And I'm going to apply this color on the outer corners of my eye. And just kind of like start darking it, darking the look up a tiny bit more. You guys could see it's quite, you know, pigmented somehow. Yes, I would give them that, but I don't know why. They're just really hard to blend out this time. I think because maybe they rushed it so much and they kind of did whatever. But I can't really judge about that because I have two more palettes to try from this new series and I did use the face palette here on my channel you guys have seen me use it before and I really really like the formula for some reason this eyeshadow palette is just not working for me today like I don't I'm not I'm not a fan to be honest but I'm still going to go ahead and give you guys my review because I promised you to do the Friends series here on my channel and I will uh, continue to do that but starting off the second series with this palette I really apologize because it's really not what I expected so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that sorry like this literally ruined my mood and yeah anyways I'm still going to go ahead and do this look for you guys so there you go I applied um, sailing on the outer corners and I keep applying it because it keeps fading off like it's really annoying I, like over here just got extremely patchy and I'm trying to blend it out I'm gonna take the same brush I'm gonna take another color this is called mother hen which is this one right here I tried using this before this look right here two times and i didn't really like it but i'm still gonna go ahead and try it for this one and i'm just going to blend sailing with this shade taking sailing again the dark brown shade i'm just going to enhance the outer corners of the eye I don't know if you guys could see this right here here I'm just really not liking that look because it's for me I find it extremely patchy and it's not blending out and the more I apply I feel like you see like here kind of like starts to fade off I don't know if you guys could see that on camera but I'm just absolutely not impressed with this uh, pigmentation with this formula um, I'm just not a fan sorry makeup revolution if you're watching this but I feel like you guys rushed on this and you guys kind of did whatever and I'm just not not a fan not a fan whatsoever okay so that's the best that I can do I'm gonna try to maybe apply a little bit more with this brush and have a better fading effect or a better blending I'm going to take Mother Hen again, which is that reddish tone, and I'm going to apply it on the lower lash line. And I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line, or try to attempt to smoke out the lower lash line with this shade. I'm taking Sailing, which is the dark brown, and I'm going to apply it right on top of Mother Hen. Like, I'm getting a lot of a fallouts going on right here, and I'm just really not liking it. I feel like they couldn't have took their time with the second series just to bring out just a better formula, but I'm just giving my opinion here. I'm just going to try to wet a brush and apply the shimmer shade on my lid to see how that's going to look like i'm just going to take my all-nighter spray and i'm actually going to dip into another color this is called 236 which is a nice shimmery gold and i'm just going to grab a little bit of that 
Sorry if you see this mirror flying over and over just because, you know, I'm doing this eye and that's what happens. And I am going to pack this color on my lid and just to kind of see how that's going to look like somewhat better when they're wet. I'm going to take this brush that I used sailing with and I'm just going to blend out that shimmer gold. I'm gonna take Nana's stuff again and I'm going to pack it in the inner corners. I just wet my brush a little bit and I'm gonna take Nana's stuff to see if it's going to show a little bit more when it's wet. So that's the best I can do for this eye at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make it a little bit better by using a liquid liner and I'm using Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a wing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara. I'm using my Benefit The Real. And then for lashes, I'm going to be using my MFMA lashes. I will leave their name in the info box down below. I just don't have them around me right now. I just need to go get them. But yes, I'll go ahead and apply all that and do the other eye. And I'll be back to finish up the look with you guys. Okay, it feels like I woke up from an eyeshadow nightmare. And that's exactly what happened. And I finally finished the eyes. It's literally not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do like a blue smoky eye today. But... Didn't happen. <laughs> I ended up doing a brown look. I really hope you guys somewhat enjoyed it even though it I struggled a little bit with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the lashes fast fast and these are from MFMA and they come in a pack of five and these are the pro light. They also have the pro glam which is a little bit more glamour and a little bit more on a um, fuller side but these are the pro light and I really really like them. It will literally suit any eye out there. I'm a professional makeup artist and I use this on my clients all the time and they all love them. So I will leave you guys the coupon code. Please use LBBYND for 10% off your purchase. And you can also get the blenders as well and the lash glue and some other accessories if ever you're interested. I'm going to be leaving the website in the info box down below. Make sure that you check it out if you are interested. So let me go ahead and finish up the face right here. I'm going to be using, this is actually a palette that I really, really love using and I enjoy using a lot. Um, and this is also from the Makeup Revolution first collection from their series two. At least I really like this one. I'm gonna be using this one right here and I'm also going to be using a little bit of that. I'm gonna be using the matte highlights to illuminate my face and the shimmer highlight as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of that. If you guys are curious about the names, again, I'm gonna be leaving everything in the info box down below for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and start contouring my face a little bit. For blush, I'm going to go ahead and use this palette right here. This is also a eyeshadow palette from the Series 2. And I've already used this one, especially this eyeshadow color as a blush. And this is called Fancy Guest right here. And I'm going to take a little bit of that, not too much. And I'm going to apply that as a blush. I'm going to go ahead and set my face before applying the shimmer highlight. And I'm using my Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. And I'm going to be using black coffee as the highlight. The face is done. I'm going to go ahead and fix up my hair and I'll be back to show you guys the lips. Alrighty, hair is fixed. I'm going to go ahead and apply lipstick. Now I found this in my collection. I don't know if it's going to work with this eye look, but I'm still going to go ahead and try it. And this is from Juvia's Place and the color is D2. D-I-T-U and this is a matte liquid lipstick and I might go ahead and apply the Rachel gloss right on top which is just a clear gloss so let's just go ahead and apply this first and see how it's going to look like on why it's so weird it's like there's no control whatsoever there's 
Whoa, there's like no control to this whatsoever. Like the, oh, okay, this is a mess. <laughs> Normally this one right here should take all the Axis liquid lipstick, but it's not doing that. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. Oh, that is a nice color. And I'm getting it all over my teeth. Okay, so that is the shade. I honestly really, really like it. I just don't like the actual packaging itself because I feel like there's no control whatsoever. Like the brush is filled with a lot of products. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it is filled with products. Like the, the I don't know how you call it, but this little round thing, plastic thing, should be removing all that access product, but it's not doing that. But overall, the shade itself is just a beautiful shade. I really like it. I think I will go ahead and apply a gloss on top. So I'm just going to add the Rachel Gloss. This is also from the Friends Collection from uh, Makeup for Revolution. Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished look. Yes, it was a total mess from my end here, but all the editing and everything, it kind of showed you guys that it wasn't that bad, but it was. <laughs> but overall, I actually do like the finished look. Um, am I a fan of this? Not really, to be honest with you guys. I'm really sorry to say that, but I just don't really like the formula of it. I feel like it's still patchy. Um, I had a hard time kind of blending the shades together, especially doing it on the other eye off camera. I kind of had a little bit of a hard time with it as well so it's not only this eye I don't know what is the problem but I'm quite excited to use the other palettes that I have from this series right here but I still hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or concerns just leave them all in the comments down below and all the products that I use in this video is going to be in the info box down below for you guys make sure you check it out thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye